everyone welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to tell you the card that is going to be the next season, for mystery gacha, event cars, and so on. But remember, not every single information from this Chinese server would be entirely brought to global server. With that in mind, let's begin. Also, I want to thank Gardrobe 10 first for helping me in this video, especially about Phantasm. Without further ado, let's begin. This car, called Phantasm, will be in the next Mystery Gacha. It's Interceptor, and for Mountain Track. Back then, it had a passive, which after 5 seconds from the start of the race, each overtake will give it 1500 nitrous point. Right now, the passive is changed to after 5 seconds from the start of the race, each overtake and overtaken, and would be given 800 nitrous points each. For its skill, it will boost its speed and make every enemy's phone screen covered with black fog, and for each collision, the victim head will reduce their energy a lot. But, the more you are attacked by this skill, the black fog intensity would be reduced. For the car itself, while in the middle of its skill and it overtake or overtaken, it gained 5 km per hour with 25 km per hour max bonus. Back then, it was 2 km per hour bonus with 20 km per hour max bonus. Also, the older day, it's said to have much worse fog than what we had right now. Is it worth the money? I would say, not as much, but you can torture players who happen to crash a lot, especially on a track with complex corners, such as Ace Academy and Sakura Ridge. There are many cars in Chinese server already, but right now, we are going to talk about MG6 Spower TCR. You can get this car in the next supply crate, but don't expect too much, since this is just a rare speedster. It has the same skill as Porsche 911, but the rarity makes it slow, and the passive doesn't help it at all, which is each drift, increase your speed for 10 km per hour for 4 seconds. Needless to say, you don't need to sacrifice your gift card for this. For the ranked reward next season, we are going to have another interceptor. This one is for Mountain, and also a scary one by the skill descriptions. This car is called Tank 300. For passive, each time your enemy is slowed to 180 km per hour, you gain 800 points of nitrous. For the skill itself, in 125 meter radius, it will attack two random enemies by slowing them down by force up to 180 km per hour for 5 seconds, and after the slowing phase was done, their durability will be damaged immediately. Is it worth your sweat and universal part if you need to? Yes and no, it's looking really effective for early seasons like this, but as we go, the cars later on have much better speed, and this car's speed can't keep up in the end, so you can recycle this car after you felt it doesn't do much. Also, another info for this car, in Chinese, they're upgraded with level 8 passive, which would damage the victim with the highest durability while the skill lasts when they are drifting or crashing into anything. But I don't think this passive would apply to Global Patch right now. Next Gold Pass is another support. It's called Nyan. Yeah. The name is that short. For some reason. Anyway. For passive, it add more durability by 50, and each collision doesn't reset its nitrous, and every reset button clicked, you are cured from any bad status. For the skill, it will recover your teammate and give them energy within 100 meter radius. At the same time, your driving become auto and it added more speed, which also regenerate your durability and also your own energy while the skill lasts. This car also have an effect after you make it to level 10, which the radius of this car become everywhere on that track. For this gold pass, either you invest fully for this car, or just make it as collection, since it only really have potential at max levels. But after you make to the max levels, it will be really worth it. Unless they don't apply that effect, but we will see. 
event in the future will have this car as a reward. It's called Vanguard. The passive is each overtake will add 1 km per hour to your max speed for the entire race. The skill is speeding up for 3 seconds, that is old time skill duration, which is right now 5 seconds. After that speeding phase, it will reduce its own durability as a recoil. In Chinese, it has level 8 passive, which when you reach 70 durability, your car will be invisible and add 15 km per hour to your own speed. The recent speed up duration and level 8 passive is not yet decided to enter the global or not. Also, you don't need to upgrade this car in the end, since later on, we will have McLaren 600LT Mountain Speedster with longer skill durations. Some said, the speedster, Pagani Huayra would appear anytime soon in this season, but no one know what form it took for its gacha or shop. The passive is, all turbo durations are doubled, and each turbo pressed give you 16 seconds of invisibility. The skill is, boost speed. While the skill lasts, you can press the skill again to pause the skill. If you press the skill again after it's paused, you can resume its skill again. You can only do pause and resume once for each skill activation. In Chinese, you get a level 8 passive where each time you press the skill, you get 2000 nitrous point. Since it's not yet confirmed for global, let's hope they really apply this new level 8 passive in global.